Debbie Alcocer is a proud Latina and native of San Antonio, born and raised on the west side. Her first job as a broadcaster was at KBFM in Edinburgh, Texas in 1980. A year later, she came home to work first part-time at KZ100, then full-time as on-air talent overnights before moving up to the 7 to midnight slot. Debbie's longest tenure at a San Antonio station was the 12 years she'd spent as an on-air talent and music director at 99.5 KISS. From 1982 to 1990, and again from 92 to 96, she started there working evenings and quickly moved to middays. It was during her time at KISS that she gained her Rock Street cred and became known as the Electric Lady. Being a part of that legendary rock station is one of Debbie's proudest achievements in radio. At KISS, she hosted the award-winning local music show The Homegrown Hour which grew to become Texas Tracks, doing what she could to support the local music scene. The show would later morph into a one-hour video music program for a season on Paragon Cable, as it often goes in radio after a format change in 96. Kiss management let everyone go. That's when Debbie got a call from the PD at 104.5 KZEP Classic Rock, where she stayed until ending her radio days in San Antonio in 1998. Then Debbie moved to Dallas and continued her radio career for another 23 years. Today she lives in Denver, continuing to work in radio remotely via the internet and still having a blast. Debbie is also a 2022 inductee in the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. Who knew that that young girl who rode her bike up and down and all over Loma Park with a small transistor radio taped to her handlebars would still be in radio 40 plus years later. The San Antonio Radio Hall of Fame welcomes 2022 inductee Debbie Alcocer. Thank you so, so much to the Society of San Antonio Radio Association. I am humbled beyond belief. I am grateful, I am thankful. San Antonio is home for me and this is a big deal for me to be here and celebrate with my family. It's been 40 plus years and uh, still rocking strong. So super grateful to be here. So many people over that length of time to thank. And I'm sure I'll forget somebody, but uh, thank you first and foremost to the faculty and staff of the Radio, Television, and Film Department at San Antonio College who uh, helped prepare many radio personalities um, over the decades and continues to do so today. So I gotta thank the very first program director who, who took a shot and uh, hired me straight out of uh, college, and that was Mr. Oppenheimer at KBFM Edinburgh, Texas, 1979. That was my first radio gig. And then uh, enjoying 12 great years at uh, 99.5 KISS Radio, where uh, so many talented announcers, air talent friends that I worked with along the way. And I want to thank them all, and I especially want to thank the program directors, uh, Greg Stevens, Trip Reed, Tim Parker, Tim Spencer, Virgil Thompson, who will be inducted here uh, momentarily as well. Thank you guys so much. Uh, in Dallas, Amy Doyle, John Larson, Jay Cresswell. Thank you, Kurt Johnson, Maxine Todd, Mark Sanford, and Don Davis. And to my traffic family, John McCarty and John Dormy at uh, TTWN. Uh, thanks to them as well. And in Denver, to my program director, Garner Bowen, over at 103.5 The Fox. Also want to mention uh, Tempe Lindsay, who was a, a big mentor for me at the time in the late 70s. There weren't a whole lot of female uh, rockers, really, and so I learned a whole lot from Tempe. So big thanks to her. I want to say thank you so much to my friend Aurora Cantu, who has always been a big supporter behind the scenes, nominating me for both the uh, San Antonio Radio Hall of Fame and also Texas Radio Hall of Fame, which I'm honored to enter next month. So. Very excited about that. I want to thank my family, of course, uh, for all their love and support. Thank you to my uh, my mom, Juanita, 92 years young, and she's here today with me. So thank you to my mom. Thank you to my brothers and sisters who are here with me as well. Uh, my brother David, my brother Dan, and also my sisters Desiree, Diana, and my sister Bertha. So thank you guys so much for always lifting me up. So. Thank you so much. I'm going to wrap up with the story that my mom loves to tell when we're in a social event or whatever. And I'm like, Mom, did you please not retell that story again? But, but basically, um, growing up, late teens, maybe early 20s, and our last name, for some reason, people couldn't pronounce it correctly. 
I'll go see her. It's pretty, pretty simple, I thought. Um, so I told my mom one day, I said, Mom, I am, I am so um, disappointed that people can't pronounce our last name. I'm going to make our last name famous. I told her that. So I don't know if it's famous, Mom, but I think people can pronounce it a little bit better now. So I think, I think we're doing all right. Thank you again, Society of San Antonio Radio Broadcasters. My heart filled with joy and gratitude today to be inducted into the class of 2022. So forever grateful, peace, light, love, joy, as Carlos Santana likes to say. And thank you so much.